Hello everyone, welcome to another scintillating, captivating, mesmerising video. <laughs> I'm just, um, I thought I'd make one, just to tell you what I've been up to. I'm smoking at the moment a Monte Cristo. Uh, yep, cigar. And it's, uh, I believe it's a Monte number four. That's lovely. That's a really, really lovely smoke. I think it's uh, got a good couple of years on it. I've got quite a few of these in the humidor that I just leave. It's uh, it's an hour smoke, which um, is perfect for me while I'm sorting out bits in the shed and having a cup of tea. So, I'll tell you what I've been up to. I've been selling a lot of tobacco. I've been in contact with the northerner who I've fallen out with big time um, although I have still got three tubs of stokers left which will keep me going a bit longer this has got more than half in it and I've got two full tubs so I'm not I'm not desperate at all but um I tried they offered me 20% off and I uh, tried to put in the code to get the 20% off and it didn't work. And they, then they wanted age verification, which I've never had to do before. So I just thought, I don't need this. I'm just not going to bother doing it. <laughs> so I gave up on it. That's a lovely woody tobacco it's quite rich really smooth though lovely flavor um, get that cedar finish which is because um, it's been sitting in the humidor for two years <laughs> I've been collecting a lot of tobacco ready to sell her the old Dunhill um, flake cap stand well, you can't well you can get this but um, <clears throat> I got this when the northerner used to sell it and um, obviously that would come from Sweden it's made in Denmark under license from Imperial Tobacco but the old cap stem is there um, ready to sell her I've got boxes and boxes full of old tobacco that I haven't smoked that I've just left and I've really got to go through it all um, but these are my newish ones um, got some Durbar and <clears throat> some Balkan, Sassini, Durbar, all packaged up. Frog Morton, I think that's the original. I've got a good few um, tins of this because I quite liked it. But I've started to go off of it. <laughs> Isn't that the way? Um, so I'm, I'm going to just sell them. I'm going to sell them. Put them in the pot. This is a lovely one. This is BB1938. It used to be called Baby's Bottom. Um, I guess they can't call it. Well, they could call it that if they wanted to, but they haven't. So BB1938. It's a Latakia. Lovely smoky mixture. Um, so that will go in the pot. Cabbies, which is a wonderful mixture with Perique, um, which I've got a couple of tins of. And thank you, Tim, for for um, sending me that tin to start me off, because I wouldn't have tried it unless you'd sent me that. Riverboat Gambler. And you see what I'm doing? I'm just packaging everything up and um, selling it. It's a nice early morning pipe. She likes navy rolls. So that's all Dunhill in there, which is all new. Special Latakia Flake. I've got some more um, Robert Lewis. I think that's one, two, three mixture. Davidoff Flake Medallions in there, all packaged up. 
And I've gone through a tin of this and I ordered another one. This is, the, well, I think this is going to be nice for the summer. Rat trays, um, the old bagpiper's dream. Isn't it funny, you um, you like a mixture, you buy a few more tins of it and then you go off of it. Um, but this is one that I, th I think I'm going to like in the summer, so I've kept that one. Uh, no shout outs today I'm afraid because I just can't remember. <laughs> I didn't make a list. This is kind of impromptu. What I did pick up was a lovely um, new pipe. The old, um, mm, that's, that's beautiful, that is beautiful. Northern Briars, Ian Walker makes them on his, um, I think it's a barge. I think he's got a barge and it's his workshop and absolute attention to detail. Um, a beautiful leather pouch with Northern Briars stamped on there and this is a bulldog, it's a rocks cut, beautiful work, silver work, lovely rustication, uh, if you can see it, focus, uh, yeah, so, you know, it's a heavy old pipe, it's a group 5, which is a larger pipe, big size bowl, I put some early morning pipe in this morning, smoked perfectly. Not one that I'd keep in the in the in the mouth, but um, you know, just to hold. It's, it's lovely to hold. It's just absolutely, you know, lovely rustication. I mean, everything's perfect about it. The stain is perfect. It's it's obviously something he takes huge pride of doing. Um, and that lovely silver band on there. Anyway, over the moon with this pipe. <clears throat> I think it's a beauty. Um, big old pipe. So, very, very happy with that. I'll just put it back. <clears throat> um, I've talked about the Northerner, who are a pain. And I've, do you know what? I still haven't found another supplier for <clears throat> chewing tobacco or dipping tobacco apart from... The very very kind offer from a few guys who have said they send me some, but um, I don't want to put people, you know, I don't want to be a burden to people. And if there was a company I'm, I'm willing to pay, I, I would do so. So guys, thank you very much for listening. We've got to eight minutes now. What have I been dipping? Um, Stokers. <coughs> That's all. Stokers uh, wintergreen long cut. Big tubs, um, fill a can, go to work, and I'm dipping all day. And smoking a few more cigars and pipes. So, still plenty of tobacco in my life. <laughs> and um, drinking lots of tea as well. So guys, thanks for watching, and speak to you soon. Cheers.